Welcome to the EMB 3D Secure 2.0 SDK demonstration. We will provide a brief look at 3D Secure 2.0 and how it has been implemented on mobile devices and integrated into merchant applications. This demonstration will highlight three of the possible authentication scenarios. We'll first look at authentication scenario number one, which is known as the frictionless flow. Here is an example of a typical frictionless flow. First, the cardholder selects a product from the 3DS Requester app and adds it into the shopping cart. Then on the checkout page, the cardholder provides their payment details and initiates the checkout. After this, the app communicates with the 3DS server, which then sends the authentication request or AREC message through the directory server to the ACS and then receives the authentication response, the ARES message, as the final response. In this example, the ACS is able to successfully perform a risk-based authentication of the cardholder based on the data received in the authentication request message. This means that there is no additional interaction required by the cardholder in order to authenticate the transaction. The 3DS server then returns the information to the 3DS requester app, which displays the result of the transaction to the cardholder. For authentication scenario number two, we will look at the OTP or one-time passcode. Here is an example of a challenge flow where the one-time passcode is delivered to the cardholder and the authentication is done directly in the application. For the purpose of creating a simple to follow demonstration, SMS was used to, to deliver the OTP. As before, the user selects the items to add to the shopping cart, selects a payment method, and then proceeds to check out. After this, the app communicates with the 3DS server, which sends the authentication request or AREC message through the directory server and over to the ACS. The ACS evaluates this transaction and provides the ARES message back as a response. In this particular example, the ACS determines that they require a challenge to the cardholder in order to authenticate the transaction. The 3DS requester app then communicates to the SDK to initiate the challenge flow, and the SDK creates a secure connection between itself and the ACS by using information that was received in the authentication response message. The SDK then displays the one-time passcode 3DS 2.0 screen, and then the cardholder is able to enter a one-time passcode which they have received. The OTP code entered is then communicated with the ACS and the ACS is able to determine if the authentication was successful. The ACS then provides the results of the authentication via the results request message back to the 3DS requester application. The 3D Secure 2.0 specification makes it possible for issuers to use out-of-band authentication methods. For example, an issuer's own authentication application could be utilized. In this particular example, we have a simple secondary application that is used for authentication. In production usage, this would be replaced by an issuer's authentication app. As before, the cardholder selects the items to add to the shopping cart, selects a payment method, and then proceeds to check out. In this scenario, the cardholder has an out-of-band authentication method available. The ACS provides the necessary information to the SDK to launch the out-of-band authentication app. This can be done automatically, or the cardholder may be prompted to launch the authentication app on their own. Once the cardholder has completed the authentication in the out-of-band authentication app, the transaction continues in the merchant application. The cardholder will select the continue button in the SDK, and the transaction will continue. The ACS then validates with the issuer whether or not the cardholder was successful in authenticating themselves and shares this information back via the results request before completing the transaction.